Hi, welcome back to the Round Table channel. I'm your host, Steven, and today I'll be talking about some of the important dates in one of my favorite bands' history, or as I like to call it, Kistory. So if you haven't figured it out, it's the rock band Kiss. I've been a fan as far back as I can remember, and the month of May has a lot of anniversaries of some of their albums. So we'll go, I'll tell you what they are first. You got Dynasty, May 23rd, 1979. You have Unmasked, May 20th, 1980. You have Revenge, May 19th, 1992. And then you have Kiss Alive 3 um, in 1993. I'll break this up into two installments. I'll do two albums at a time. So we'll start off with uh, Dynasty on and Unmasked. So May 23rd, 1979, Kiss does release the Dynasty album. It's known, it's been called a disco album and most known because of their big hit, I Was Made For Loving You. But if you do go back and listen to the album, there is a quite a lot more going on. Um, you have 2000 Man, which is a Rolling Stone cover sung by Ace Frehley. I think it's maybe even better than the Stones version. One of those rare occasions that I like the cover better than the original. Uh, you have Sure Knows Something, a great mid-tempo song from Paul Stanley. Hard Times is a great rocker from Ace Frehley. And Magic Touch from Paul Stanley, which is another mid-tempo rocker, which I think is the prototype for Paul Stanley for the 80s. If you hear that song, you kind of hear where he went off and he stayed kind of in that vein. It's a, it's a pro that like, you can hear this. This is going to set up how Paul Stanley was sound later on. Um, great album in my opinion. It did sell over a million copies. I think it's a bad rap because of the disco song, but yet it's played now on their, uh, on their show. So I think people have gotten over it. And nonetheless, I still stand by that. It's enjoy. It's not granted. It's not the quintessential Kiss release. You know, if I had a choice, I'd probably go back to Love Gun or or just or Destroyer. You know, if I had a choice, even their debut album. But nonetheless, it's gotten a bad rap. Now, another album that's been getting a bad rap is the 1980 album Unmasked. And no, it's not where they remove their makeup. It's just simply called Unmasked. Um, another pop rock album where they kind of stripped it down right straight forward for kind of mixing up kish and hooks you know the album has hooks for days in my opinion i love this album i think it's underrated and of course it's not as rock oriented as their previous releases but you know every band has to expand their palette and try something new and Kiss had to try something new. I mean, how many? They can't release Destroyer 45. You know, it's been done. And I think Destroyer, the original, you know, is, is fantastic because there's only one of it. But nonetheless, I really like a lot of the songs. I like the opening track, Is That You? I think it's a really great opening track. I like Talk To Me from Ace Fraley. Naked City from Gene Simmons, underrated track from him. Great vocal performance. I love that song. He's trying to kind of sound like Paul Stanley on it, but it's Gene. I like um, As Easy As It Seems, great bass on there, and Two Sides of the Coin from Ace Frehley. There's also a Kiss tribute website that uses that name, Two Sides of the Coin, for a reason. It's a, it's a great song. They're catchy. Now, of course, Shandy's on there, which is a big hit for them. Um, I believe in Australia, it's a humongous hit, and every time they go down there, they do have to play the song. So in my, in my opinion, it's granted it's not a masterpiece, but it's fun listening and, and it's got hooks like you know also i think uh, what i found out makes the world go round tomorrow these are great they're, they're fun tracks and there's nothing wrong with them going for a different sound i think every band has to try something else they can't do the same thing over and over and over again and kiss is no exception they have to try something else the times were a changing and they're going to change again in the 80s when they're going to change their style again and this was one of the many attempts of them trying to keep current it you know it failed to to match some of the previous album sales, but I think over time people have gotten to. There is a fan base for this album. I've seen online people do like it, and I do, and I and I do as well. So I mean, I think it's an underrated album in the Kiss catalog and deserves your attention. So it was. These are two of the albums released in May. Um, like I said, May twentieth, nineteen eighty, Unmasked, and May twenty third, nineteen seventy nine, Dynasty. So happy anniversary to those albums. I, I still go back to them from time to time. I go much more to Unmasked. I play that, you know, at least once or twice a year. Again, like I said, it, it can never replace Destroyer or Love Gun or Hotter Than Hell, but 
if you want to listen to something other than those albums and listen to a different side of Kiss. I think it's got hooks for days and it's it's done well. I really enjoyed this album and I think it's a really underrated gem in the Kiss catalog. So I hope you guys revisit it. Let me know what you think of these albums. I definitely would love to hear from you. So please hit that like button and subscribe. And this is Stephen from The Roundtable wishing everyone a fantastic day.